else here. You're 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 not you're not creating anything. It's like it's like that movie Wall Street, that great amazing movie thirty years ago, whenever it was made. There, there's a zero sum game. That was the point I was trying to make earlier. When you decide that you're going to be good at this and you're going to get it and you're going to do it, you going out there and you grab the opportunity, you're going to go for it and you're going to do it if you do it well and you're going to make a lot of money. Why? Because most people don't. It's a zero sum game. You're not making anything. You're not creating anything. You're not manufacturing a product or service. You're not making widgets when you get up. It's you against the rest of the world. So guess what? I decided a very long time ago to be with the smart money. And that's the money that moves the market. That's the money that controls the world. It's called institutional money. And they are not buying here. That is the answer to the question. So until I see institutional money scooping up the market and buying it and coming back in, which by the way, they're selling. They've been selling. They've been selling actually since the end of January and early February and they continue to sell in March. So because they dumped positions and sold, they're not going to turn it right around and go back in long. I can tell you that right now. Right now, we're lower. When will we turn around? I don't know. And that's not your job to predict. If you're an active trader, you can make money and to the downside. Sure. But if you have a retirement account or something like that, you might be very upset here because you gave back some of the profits from the rally from the early highs in January. But you could get out or you if you want to get out, but you don't have to get out. If you're not going to retire in the next, you know, two to five years, you don't have to get out. The market's holding the trend. The market's going to turn around, but I don't know when, and it doesn't matter to me. The fact is that institutional money is the way you make money in the market, whatever you do, because you're not Warren Buffett, and you can't move the market no matter what you do, and neither can I. So luckily, technicals is the only thing that you have that you can use to make money. Because when you see institutions coming in and moving the price, whether up or down, in gaps, not in support and resistance, in gaps, when you see them in the gaps, the good ones, which not every gap is a good one, the good ones, that's when you know what to do. That's when you know, and that's when you can do it, and that's what you have to follow, and that's how as one individual you can make money in the market. It is a simple concept that makes a lot of sense that you have to be with that money. Because they make decisions based on things that have nothing to do with you and nothing to do with anything and things you don't know and will never know. They buy and sell research reports to one another, the big banks, and they charge each other three, four, a hundred thousand dollars. And you're not going to go buy them and you'll never get them. And even if you could buy one, you wouldn't be able to buy five. And they're making decisions on things that we don't know about and we don't even care. We see the gap. So institution ABC may have decided earlier in 2018 that they were up a certain percentage in the fund and they decided they were going to sell some. And they decided then they were going to sell more with the uncertainty in the market or with tariffs or with this or with that. It doesn't matter. Who knows? It doesn't matter. And the great thing is you don't need to worry about that stuff. And you'll never know anyways. But when they sell and they create a gap when they sell actually, or when they buy, they create a gap too. That's when you know that you can do something with it or with those people. And then you just make money, you play the momentum with those people and you get in and you get out. And then you watch and you wait and you see and you do with them and that's what you do. And that's how you can make money. You're never gonna make money going with day traders, who by the way, a lot of them went long, and swing traders really went long in the market. Why do you think the market fell off a planet today? Because so many people went long the market that are traders on Thursday. It was a bad trade. You might have even had some funds that went long the market on Thursday thinking it was gonna hold, because we doubled down in here. Drop, flipped, rallied, gapped up, sold off, held, rallied again, gapped up, had a big day in here that everyone in the world was talking about. Look at the volume. I mean, I can't make this up if I tried how great a call this was to call the market short last week. It was an unfreaking believable call. I mean, only I would make that call. Look at the volume. One, two, four, two, four, four, seven, ninety. Look, look, look at that. And then we'll look at what happened today. Look at that. And actually, look at that. The volume's. I think it's less. Oh no, it was more today. So there you see 185, 124, yeah. So there you see it. So anyways, what happens is that you get the people 
and then they get up in the morning and some of the people are down but not everybody in the morning and then the people go and then the people get worried and then the people that went long here start to sell and then some of the people don't and some of them don't and some of them don't and some of them are worried and some of them are scared and then the panic comes in and what are they going to do and all of a sudden they're down and they're down even more and now what should we do and, <laughs> and there you have it but not every and this is what makes the selling you had a little bit of institutional selling here today because you did but you didn't have a lot this is, a, this is a lot of traders in here today. Just a bad train going along in here, but you did have some institutions. But the institutions got out here, and then you had some more selling right in here. This was the bad selling. I didn't have a problem with this, and then we picked ourselves up really good. And then this was not good. But you still didn't short the market here. In fact, it could have been long. It could have been long, was it a problem? If you were long, it was fine. You get out here. Anyways, this is all terrific stuff. I mean, it's, it's really exciting. It's very exciting. It's an exciting time to trade. Why? Because there's so much money for the taking if you know what to do. Even people that just skated by in 2018 as traders, meaning they were break even, made a little bit, they're going to lose. Because if you don't know what you're doing this year, you are going to lose your shirt. But that means if you do, you're going to make more. The field is so wide open, and I'm going to take advantage of every second of it. Anyways, good talk tonight, everybody. Great talk tonight. And again, if you want to sign up for the class, email me. And if you want to trial of the room, email me. And we'll see what we get tomorrow. All right, everybody, have a good night.